How is multiple myeloma staged? Healthcare professionals use a combination of lab test results, imaging tests, and bone marrow exams to examine the stage of multiple myeloma. The revised International Staging System, or dury salmon Staging System, may be used in determining a patient's multiple myeloma stage. The patients are assigned stages one to three. To determine the ISS, you need lab values for the beta-2 microglobulin and albumin. For the revised ISS, you add on the lab value for LDH, lactic dehydrogenase, and you also add in the chromosome risk profile. So there are certain genetic changes that predict a more aggressive myeloma, and the ones added to the revised ISS staging system are translocation 414, translocation 1416, and deletion 17P. So staging with multiple myeloma is really unique. Uh, a lot of times people think that every cancer has four stages. Um, that is not true with myeloma. There are three stages uh, for myeloma. And even now, as of this year, some providers are not, some oncologists are not even staging the myeloma. They're looking at the risk factors, the cytogenetic risk factors to say if you're standard risk or high risk and not even using the staging system. It's interesting, when I was diagnosed back in 2018, there were two staging systems used. One was the salmon dury or dury salmon scale. I was diagnosed at stage three, which is the highest level, and that's based on, um, mine was based on the fact that I had a lot of bone lesions and bone involvement. But there's also one called RISS, the revised ISS staging, and that one I was staged at stage one. So it's really important to get a myeloma specialist on board quickly because my myeloma specialist explained why I had two different stages I was staged at. She used the RISS system, the more current system, the stage one, and also looked at my cytogenetic risk factors. So your doctor will talk to you about fish testing. Fish testing might show something like translocations in the myeloma cells themselves or genetic abnormalities in the myeloma cells themselves. And that helps them dictate also um, what your risk will be going forward and how to treat that, how to treat your myeloma as a result of those risk factors and the stage that you're diagnosed at.